Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. I enjoyed the song service. And the song service. Amen. You sing it like there are a thousand people. When we are just a few. <coughs> God bless you so much. Amen. We want to go straight into the word and uh, read our Bibles in the book of Leviticus, the 20th chapter. Um, I'm stri- striving to finish this so that we can move on. Amen. So Amen. we just want to go together. Leviticus 23, verse 24. Leviticus 23, 24. We'll read that and then we'll sit down and we continue from there. Leviticus 23, 24, the Bible says, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall we have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, and holy convocation. Ye shall do no several work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May you take our seats. Amen. Amen. For those who are still fairly new with us, or who may not be following exactly what is happening, just be patient. We are almost done with this seven feet. Then we are going to come back to the surface and uh, talk about those things that are commonly believed among us. We will come back to the ABCs of worshiping God. Amen. But sometimes you have to go deep. So right now we are right deep down. Which is very important for us because we also need to understand who we are and what these things mean. So just be patient with us. And the Lord will speak to you very soon. Amen. So we are looking at the uh, feast, this the feast of trumpets, which was this fifth feast of the Jews. Amen. Amen. We saw the feast of Passover. We saw first the feast of uh, uh, unleavened bread. First the fruits number three. Then we saw Pentecost number four. Now we are talking about trumpets. After trumpets, we have atonement and then tabernacles. Those ones are very short. These trumpets one is the one that is long. Amen. So just be patient. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And pray for me. Amen. I'll be going out of town during the week. So no but I'll be back by Sunday. But by Sunday, by Sunday God bless you. Amen. Amen. So a reading from Leviticus 23. The first day of the seventh month. A memorial of blowing of trumpets. Interestingly, if you go to Revelation 7, verse 1, you are going to find the trumpets there. Again. And it's the first day of the seventh month. Amen. It's, it's those things that, you know. Just excite us. Amen. Amen. Now, want to go together to Revelation chapter eight. Revelations eight, and pick on the. Uh, remember, we spoke about the first uh, four trumpets. Then we spoke about the fifth trumpet, which was the first world war. World War One. What was the fifth trumpet? Fifth trumpet, World War. What was its purpose? Yeah, 
to push the Jews back to their homeland. Because they had been scattered since AD 70. So God wanted them to go back to Israel. So that he could send the two prophets Elijah and Moses to preach to them about the Jesus Christ they rejected. So, in order to push them back to their homeland, God raised the first world war, which was the fifth trumpet. But we find in Revelation chapter 7, the first world war did not accomplish its purpose. The Jews did not go back to their homeland. And the God gave a commandment from on high. Hold the four winds until we have sealed the servants of the Lord. The 144,000. But they could not be sealed while they were elsewhere. They were still scattered abroad. So God stopped the first world war. Nobody signed the paper. Nothing was discussed. At 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. At on the 11th day. Of November the 11th month. That November 11. In 1918, the war stopped the suddenly. What stopped the war? When God called from on high, hold the four winds until we have sealed the servants of God. So that stopped the fifth trial. The first world war. World War One. But the Jews were not in there. So God. After about 20 years, in 1939, 1939, then something came that we are reading now in Revelation chapter 9. Revelation chapter 9, we are reading something that happened in 1939. Let's go to verse 13. Verse 13. Remember, Revelation 8 ended with a war, war, war to the inhabitants of the earth. First world war, second world first war, third world, 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 world war. Pronounce the Revelation 18, verse 13. Revelation 8, verse 13. Revelation 8, verse 13. Then Revelation 9, Revelation 9. From verse 1, Baba, verse 1, we have the trumpet going there. But now we come to uh, oh, Revelation 9, 1 is the fifth trumpet. Revelation 9, 1, down to verse. 12, which says one war is past. Behold, there come two more. The first world war is past. Behold, there come the second and the third world war. That's your Revelation 9, verse 12. I'm trying to simplify it. Verse 13 says, Verse 13, And the sixth angel sounded. That's the sixth trumpet. The second world war. Second world war. And I heard the voice from him. The four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which is the trumpet, loose the four angels which abound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay a third part of men. Now, these are not heavenly angels. These are earthly angels that were coming from hell. Because the devil has his angels. So these four angels were Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler of Germany. Adolf uh, 
Eichmann out of Eichmann of Austria, of Austria. who was also in Germany and out of Germany Benito Mussolini of Benito Italy. Mussolini of Italy and Joseph Stalin Now of Joseph Russia. Stalin of Russia. These are the four angels in verse 14 here. Or verse 15. Amen. They were supposed to be loosed and kill a third part of men. Why a third part of men? Who were they targeting? Remember, we are talking about the trumpets. Trumpets gather Israel. So the purpose of the trumpets was to gather Israel in their homeland. And it was political force by these dictators that pushed Israel back to their homeland. So these four men came with one purpose to kill Jews and they killed a third part of the Jews because they were 18 million Jews. 18 million Jews so they killed 6 million Jews 6 million a third part of men the holocaust the holocaust in history which comes back to the fifth seal in odzoka kuchisimbiso chechishanu they killed the third of the Jews 6 million during the holocaust the holocaust look at how they did it the bible tells us how they did it bible wrote to the rabbi verse 16 And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. Hans, we're going million. And I heard the number of them. And the hands were number you. These four men were anointed by 200 million demons, which the Bible calls horsemen. I mean, you don't have 200 million horses on earth. So these were demons coming from hell to anoint these four men and their armies to kill the Jews. Right? Is the Bible getting clear? I'm trying to make it very clear. Now it's very simple. So, Hitler, Hitler man, Eichmann, Eichmann, Mussolini, Mussolini, and Stalin, and Stalin, anointed by 200 million demons, demons to kill the Jews, so that the Jews can run away and go back to their country under the sixth trumpet. The second who? He won't do it now for a period or the second world war can have the world war two are we together yes. let's read on verse 17 thus i saw the horses in the vision and them that sat upon them having breastplates of fire and jacinth and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire smoke and brimstone three things to so start fire fire smoke smoke and brimstone, and brimstone. came out of those demons right, right? man so they had fire smoke would the gas chambers my gas chamber. brimstone brimstone the bullets my bullets remember they were incinerating the bodies of the jews fire smoke the gas in the gas chambers gas brimstone gas chamber, bullets bullet. killing a third part of men and this by these three was the third part of men or third part of the jews killed we are reading in the bible what happened in 19, between 1939 and 1945 by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths amen for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and their heads and with them they do hurt and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their works and so forth and so forth let me leave it there so this was the second world war. second world war. 
coming to push the Jews back to their home. That's your sixth trumpet. If we close the service now, you know the sixth trumpet. So what we are now doing is just to put flesh on to him. The sixth trumpet was the second world war. Hitler, Eichmann, Mussolini, and Stalin. Forcing the Jews back to their homeland. The prophet says, but now watch. The, the Jew is the milestone. We are following him now. Now, when the first world war came, it took every Jew they had scattered all over the, world, the nations. And he said, stop it, hold it, until we have sealed the servants of God. In other words, we are bringing them in from all the nations. Everywhere. Bring them in. Because they got them right in here to seal that 144,000. Now, the winds all started in. They would have covered the earth and the battle of Armageddon. The battle of Armageddon would have taken place in the first world war. So the first world war, first world war would have been up to the third world war. Without stop. Because the third world war is Armageddon. So if the first world war had not been stopped the whole before we die, first world war is now miss one. Would have got into the third world war before you were born, before I was born, before your father and mother were born. Then the first world war would have ended. The world. Then the Jew, 144,000 would have been lost. So the first world war stopped for the Jews to come in. But God lost it. Those four angels from My hell. God. And they came to persecute the Jews Do in the Holocaust. Holocaust. And the Jews went back to their home. Then the winds were let loose again. Now notice. That Simon. The first world war was. First world war. They, they has const since the first world war they has constantly been persecuting against the Jews. I praised Hitler for the second world war. Right? It says it was okay. We, re we talked about this November 11th for the 11th hour people. The 11th hour people. Right. Then he says, and what did the Holy Spirit say? Hold the four winds. Hold the world war one. world war one. Until this global destruction. You see? Hold it. Until we have sealed the servants of God on their forehead. Now, now. He loosed upon under the sixth seal. All trumpets sound under the sixth seal. These 200 million demons started in Rome. Germany. Germany. Hitler. Hitler. And notice over in the Bible. Where they received. Uh, they received the power as kings but were not crowned kings a dictator is not a crowned king just receiving power as a king now the trumpets is to call the, the Israelites back to the atonement you remember in Egypt, God had to harden Pharaoh's heart to run them out of Egypt. He, 
and he had in the Stalin, Mussolini, and all all that. To get them back into their promised land. Where the 144,000 are supposed to be. Can we see the picture? Can we see the picture? Right? Now, having said that, let's look at this again. The prophet goes on to say, and look. Before I read this. 1939 to 1945 was the Second World War. 1939 to 1945, Second World War. Which was the sixth trumpet. 1945, the war ended. 1946. 1946. The prophet got to a place where he was fed up with the pressure from denominations. Because they were telling him all the visions and everything that was happening to him were demons. And he said to his wife, I have some money, I think it was $14 or so. He says, this is all I have. And I'm giving it to you. I'm going. I don't tell you where I'm going. And if I don't come back, find a husband, I'll be dead. Until God tells me why things are happening the way they are happening in my life. And he went up to a place called Greensmill went into a cabin that had been made by hunters you know in America they will make a lot of cabins in the forest so that when you are hunting you can have somewhere to sleep overnight so he went into such a cabin and prayed and prayed about 2 o'clock in the morning 2 o'clock a light appeared in Papa, the cabin. Papa, light in cabin. Then he heard footsteps on the floor of the cabin. And he said, Listen, he see a light coming. You can imagine. Two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning. And from the light, Papa, light in my which you know is the pillar of fire, stepped out a man who looked like he would weigh about 200 pounds and I don't get a giant 200 pound man giant he had an olive green skull and the skin he had the olive green yeah down to his shoulder and he stood there and the prophet watched and the man spoke and the man said I am the man the man said I am the man the man and the man spoke Fear not. I'm sent from the presence of the Almighty God to tell you about your peculiar birth and what all these things mean. The prophet says, when he spoke, then I realized the voice was the same voice that has spoken to me from the time I was a baby. But I had never seen it as a person. And the prophet was given the commission to come to preach to the people pray for the sick and he was given that end sign where he would hold a message and see the disease pray and those who disappear then the disease is gone and he was given the sign of discernment to know what is is in the people's lives. And the man said, as Moses was given two signs, you are also given two signs. Moses would throw his stick. Moses it would become a serpent. He would put his head in his bosom. Take it out. The lepers. He puts it back. Takes it out. It's the prophet would touch someone. The disease is there. Pray and touch someone. The disease is no longer there. Then he would know what the secrets of people's hearts. 
That was the first and second pool. When did this happen? He says, they look. The very night, the very day. And that the angel of the Lord met me. 1946. 1946. The war ended in 1945. 1946. 1946. 1946. On May the 7th. 7 May. There is something about May the 7th. That's when we had our first service in this church. May the 7th. May the 7th. May the 7th. At Greens Mill, and Greens Mill, Indiana, Indiana. The same day, the the Treaty of Peace was signed for the Jews. Hans, sign wine on the Treaty of Peace, Yema, Judah. And they established them as a nation for the first time in 2,500 years. Israel, Keku Tanga Makore 2500. Seven May. Seven May. The angel comes to the prophet. To, to talk about his ministry. To the Gentiles. Right? Amen. The Second World War is just. Second World War appear. The Jews have gone back to their Judah. So it's time that God goes to the Jews. But the Gentiles are coming to an end. And the Jews are starting. Because remember the prophet says the messenger of every age comes at the end of every age. So 1946, 46, 56, 56, 65, 65, 19 years later, 19 years, the prophet is gone. Can you see that? So that night, the prophet was given the commission to us. He had prayed for the sick already. The dead had been raised. He had seen all sorts of miracles. But God raised him to a higher place. He says, You see that? Now, he says, Not Revelation 9 13. Revelation 9 13. Under the sixth trumpet. Not. There were 200,000 thousand horsemen. That were turned loose under the sixth trumpet. And notice what happens. Under the sixth trumpet, they turned those ones loose to the Jews to persecute the Jews. Supernatural devils. They were lost in Hitler and Stalin and upon the Jews. The old Roman spirit that wanted to kill Jesus. That was in Herod. It's those same 200 million devils. The old Roman spirit which takes us back to Nimrod. Genesis 11. Amen. It's the same spirit. Because it's the demons that came from heaven into Eden. It's the same ones. He says, now, the sixth trumpet and the, between the sixth trumpet and, or, and the sixth seal, they sounded the same time. Between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet, there is a prophet to appear before the Gentiles. Between the sixth trumpet, which is the second world war, and the seventh trumpet, in between there, there is a gentile prophet. Brother Branham coming to us. Brother Branham was That's why the angel came in 1946. Are we together? Amen. The seventh trumpet. Woman died his own way. It already started sounding. But it's going to be intensified in the Jewish tribulation. So between the sixth trumpet and seventh trumpet. There comes a gentile prophet. 
Just like between the sixth seal, says as no way down to Pagadipati Simbis or Chechen, and the seventh seal, there seems to be no way. Here comes two Jewish prophets, but where am I part of the Judah, my to the Jews, my Jude, and yet the seventh seal has already started. As it seems to be no way to Tanga, so we have everything happening right now. Musa is a Jew who did a shaking of the political press one time. Happen. They are happening now. Amen. Amen. That's what is happening. Those are which so between the sixth and seventh trumpet, there is a prophet to appear before the Gentiles. The prophet is the same prophet who is speaking about those things to call the people back to the original Pentecost doctrine. Two. Two. There will be two witnesses of Revelation 11. Two prophets appearing to the Jews to send them to Jesus. While the Gentile church is taken up, all of them prophets. So three prophets coming. But the sixth seal, sixth, the seventh seal, seal, the seventh seal, six trumpets, six trumpets, trumpet, trumpet. the seventh trumpet. There are three prophets. Three two prophets. to the Jews, two my Judah, one to the Gentiles. My Eden. Right? Amen. Musa no ge shagoma. Don't think it's difficult. And God no ga is no no. Just speak what you. Which has also one number. You will see it. You will go right. along. It will help you. Right. Then he goes on to say now. So here is what happened. Let me summarize it and say. Don't, it. don't complicate it. If you have any questions, bring them. The second world war. Was the sixth trumpet. trumpet. Its purpose. Was to force the Jews back to their homeland. How did it do it? Hitler. Hitler. Mussolini. Mussolini. Eichmann, Eichmann and Stalin. Stalin. They forced the Jews back to their homeland. 1945, the war ended. 1945, because the Jews were back in their homeland. 1946. 1946. God comes to the Gentile prophet. He says, run and finish this way quickly. What man Because remember, you are Elijah. So you are supposed to come back immediately. And Go to the Jews. Where the Majuda? With Moses. And Moses. So he's just given 19 years. I know 19 years. Which are minutes before God. I minutes. Or maybe less than a minute. Can I less than one minute? To do the quick work of finishing the task. Are we together? That was the sixth trumpet. Yeah, again, one man six. The Second World War. World War II. Did it accomplish its mission? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Because now the Jews are back in their own. The country was called Palestine. Now it's called Israel. Israel. Be ruled by the Jews. Why are they there? Remember, the Jews rejected Jesus. But they have to go to heaven in a rapture like us. But for them to go in that rapture, but they have to receive the Holy Ghost but and receive this message. We are preaching. Message. That's why they have to go back to their homeland. Wait for the two prophets of Revelation 7 and Revelation 11, Revelation 11 to preach to them. Who are the two prophets? Moses. Moses, the greatest of the prophets, Guru is of the Old Testament. Old Testament yeah. And Elijah. Na area. That means the law and the prophets. <inaudible> Moses is the law. <inaudible> Elijah, the prophet. <inaudible> so when they come to the Jews <inaudible> and they tell the Jews <inaudible> about <inaudible> the message, <inaudible> the seven seals, <inaudible> the seven thunders <inaudible> of Revelation. <inaudible> The Jews will say, but, but Moses said, Moses said, and Moses will say, I am Moses. Moses, and, and, Moses and I'm telling you, this is correct. And they will say, Elijah was such a great prophet. Elijah, 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 Elijah will say, Elijah was in the past. Representing every prophet. So the law and prophet stands before them for so three and a half years. For three and a half years. And the Jews' doors will be closed. Now, do you know? That's, that is your. Sixth 
trumpet. The second world war. Now, let's go to the seventh trumpet. World War Three. You know the World, world War, III. war of Armageddon. And we we'll finish the service. The service. Then we will come for the feast of atonement. Atonement. Right. Amen. Why are the Jews being gathered in their homeland? To receive the Messiah. Who is the Messiah? Messiah Christ. Christ. How are they going to receive the Messiah? This Bible, the Jews believe in the Old Testament only. They don't believe the New Testament. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. Moses and Elijah who coming to introduce them to Christ. So that they receive the message. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be sanctified by the blood of Christ. And receive the Holy Ghost like us. And then go in the rapture. And all that will be done in three and a half years. After you and I are gone. Right. Amen. In the seven church ages. In my seven church ages. Uh, the prophet says. What and by God's help. And with the look of history. I can prove to you no, that we are living in the time of the seventh trumpet for the seventh plague the seventh seal to be opened and the seventh vow to be poured so he says we are living in time of the seventh trumpet as well. In the time of the seventh seal. We want to see. Now we are already moving into the seventh trumpet. Which is the war of Armageddon. The third world war. That's what we are already talking about. Here. And he says now. The seventh seal hasn't opened yet. You know. This is. 19 July 1964. 19 July 1964. The seals were printed in 63 March. And this is 64. After the seventh seal is opened, he says the seventh seal hasn't opened yet. You know. Why is it saying the seventh seal hasn't opened yet? You know. Back to the seals. What's okay? You remember the seventh seal? It is in Mount Pofon. God wanted to reveal himself to men. To have preeminence in you and I. And to restore the kingdom back. When the seventh seal was opened, there was silence in heaven for the space of half an hour. And here, you can see the eyes of Christ and the nose. Christ came down in 63, February 28. About 28 minutes, 28 minutes, he displayed his face in the Because the seventh seal had been opened, and there was silence in heaven. Christ was on earth. Christ Opening the seventh seal to us. But the prophet is saying the seventh seal has not been opened. Why is he saying that? He says that's his coming. And Notice. Making ready the people. How perfect then the seventh trumpet and the seventh seal is. Perfectly together. The persecution of the Jews. Now, what is he talking about? Here? The seventh seal is open. Except for the coming of Christ for the rapture. That's the part of the seventh seal that remains unopened. Remains sealed. Because no man knows the day nor the hour. So the coming of Christ in 63 was the seventh seal. But his coming for the rapture is the seventh seal also. That's the part that has not been opened. Are we together? Amen. 
So when you hear ministers who say the seven seal has not been opened, they know my son just a rumor. They will read this quotation, but they don't realize that the seven seal has so many things, and all of those things have been opened. Except coming of Christ for the rapture because he comes like a thief in the night two will be sleeping one is taken the other is left that's the part of the seven which has not been opened am I making it simple enough right. so he says And the Jews are called by the mystery of the seventh trumpet. Which, which is two prophets, Elijah and Moses. So the, the prophet is saying the seventh trumpet. Are the two prophets Moses and Elijah? In one place he says the seventh trumpet is the war of Armageddon. In one place he says the seventh trumpet to the Jews is the same as the seventh seal to us. So you can begin to see that the seventh trumpet is also in multiple form. I'm going to show you that this picture here on Mount Sunset 1963 was also the seventh trumpet. It was the seventh seal to the church and the seventh trumpet to the Jews. Now, if someone is going to listen to this, especially ministers, they will say, There goes the outlier. <laughs> but let before you say that way, because I study the word, I don't listen to other ministers from the TV. I, I listen to the prophet. That's how I get these things. Now let's go together in it. And he says the seven seals to the Gentiles are the seven trumpets to the Jews. They mean the same thing. Right? Amen. So the seven seal and the seven trumpet are in multiple forms. First, the seven trumpet is there to open the rest of the trumpets. The seventh trumpet is there to call the Jews back for the atonement using the other trumpets. Third, the seventh trumpet is the war of Armageddon. The third world war. Third world war. Fourth, the seventh trumpet under the sixth seal is the is the is the, the tribulation to the Gentiles. The seventh trumpet is the rapture to the Jewish church. All those things are the seventh trumpet. That's why Matthew 24, 36. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. We are talking about this. We are reading this now. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. It's also this. This is Revelation 8, verse 1. Revelation 8, verse 1. Revelation 10, 7. Revelation 10, 7. St. Matthew 8, 24, verse 30. 8, 24, 30. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds. Of heaven with power and great glory there you are yes. 
It's already history. Story you know on this. Someone will say, no, 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 it's the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord is a secret. The people of the world will see nothing. That's why they will continue to go to church after the rapture. This scripture is talking about 1963. Christ coming in. In, the, in his glory, Christ in, in the clouds, and people seeing it, they eat in the newspapers everywhere. It's not for the church. It was not taken by some newspaper. It was taken by photographers. Public information. Public information. I watch on the internet. internet. It's not a secret. It's a secret. It's Matthew 24 verse 10. Matthew 24 verse 10. Let, listen to the scripture. The Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. His angels. How many angels are in this verse? One angel to the Jew, Gentile church, with the gospel trumpet. William Branham. William Branham. Then two other angels, Moses and Elijah, Moses and Elijah. with the seventh trumpet, to the Jewish church. So that's why the scripture is saying. He shall send his angels, plural, and with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. We have been gathered by the gospel trumpet from the four corners of the earth. And the Jews are also being gathered by the seventh trumpet in Israel from the four winds. Which were held in Revelation chapter 7. Hold the four winds. You see here. So he's talking about Jews and Gentiles in one verse. Ah, this is pretty deep. But we are trying to make it easy. It's the verse that we read every day. And I saw this only yesterday. Right. From one end of heaven to the other. The Jews are coming from everywhere under the sun. Why? Because Christ is coming down. Sending his angels to gather them together. Right? Man. Let's read on. Now, verse 32. Now learn, of, learn a parable of the fig tree. Who is the fig tree? Israel. Israel. So Christ is talking about us and Israel. But Israel. He's telling us to look at the fig tree Israel. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise he when he shall see all these things know that it is near even at the door. Verily, verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Now, this scripture where the Bible talks about this generation shall not pass, this generation shall not pass. People interpret it differently. But let me give you some page machine. That will tell you. Because I remember when I was young, my pastor then came to the board in church. And he said, Generation from 7 May 1946, May 1946 when the Jews became a fig tree. My Judah, Wa, 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 wa
A generation would be 40 years. And the generation is not in 40 years. 1946. So, so you say 56, 56, 66, 66, 66, 76, 86. 86, the rapture must happen. Uh, at 86, he had to the board. Anga can you have a board? The pastor actually 86, he can't find a woman. I almost dropped out of school. That time when just had school. Because that was around 83. Because one woman was 83. Right? Amen. But he was still growing. As long as you grow, he had to understand the scripture. The scripture does not say this generation shall not pass until the rapture happens. Are na kuti zoni e. Right? We know a generation is 40 years. No, it's not the generation in Bible. It's 40 years. More than generation, they say 30 years. My generation and as well. That's not Bible. I, I see Bible. Now let me give you this now. A generation is 40 years. Generation is 40 years. It says the generation shall not pass. And the generation I got which means people of that generation shall not die. For all the people. Of that generation shall not die until the, all these things are fulfilled until Christ comes in, in a cloud of glory right? Amen. okay, let's take it this way in the Bible, Bible people who are considered to be adults in a generation it was 20 years. Generation, my God, 20 years. Going up. But you could see. So if we take somebody who was 20 years in 1946. How old are they today? I don't know what I'm going to do. More than 98. Is it 88? Or 90 something? Whatever. About 90. For 1946. Oh, they are 80 something. Eh? 88, yeah. So, those people are still living. Not all of them. But so, the generation is not passed. It doesn't mean 40 years will not pass. As you know, 40 years. But the people of that generation, that see, generation the fig, you are that see the fig tree body shall not die. All of them before this happens. So, they have already seen it. And they are still here. With one. Check time. We can take it this way. We take people who were born in 1946. Mm. How old are they today? They are in their 70s, right? They have not all died. And they are seeing these things happen. Can you see the applications? People who just run and say, no, 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 no. A generation 1946 to 1986. 1946 to 1986. You run out of scripture. You come to a dead end. You drop out of work and school. You need the, the prophet says the biggest of the nine spiritual gifts is wisdom. Number two, knowledge. Not speaking tongues, not prophecy, not faith, not healing, it's wisdom number one. Knowledge number two. He says, without wisdom, you can't have knowledge. Without knowledge, you can't have wisdom. So you need to be wise and informed. Not a church which is full of people that know nothing. To find out what church you're in for. You shall you mess up. That's why we are preaching these difficult things. We want you to have the knowledge of the word of God. As no dimension of a machine to be started. All of you understand it. Someone who missed something. As no motion. Doesn't matter. Who come back to baptism? Who come back to easier things? But is he so Jesus, 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 Jesus. is important. Mm -hmm. God is going to raise preachers in this church. God is going to raise preachers in this church. God is going to If we didn't teach them this, the word at this depth, they will see fire every day. What do they preach? How shall they know unless someone has taught them? So we go deeper. 
take the soil from deep down. God will raise a water. I don't stand in my shoes. They will be informed. By the wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge. And my old man. The job. I'll go. Church, you know, I'm old, happy to sorry, I won't be here. I'm old. getting frail. Now, the prophet died at 56. I'm 54. In the 54. Now, I'm old. So there is no way I will remain a boy. And I think damn sorrow. If I die, my I die I do I do this. Man will die here. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth of it. Of it. What can I do? I must work now to tell you that to, correct. to give you the right thing to grow properly. If the, if the world of God takes me from Joburg, drops me in Switzerland, you won't die. You won't die. You won't die. You won't die. I don't think I'm going to do that. Because sometimes it was said that John wouldn't see death and show the time of the Lord. And it started to circulate among the believers. That John was told he won't die. So we will to get a funeral policy. When he died, some came out and said, We were lied to. Do you know the answer? We were lied to. Christ himself spoke to Jonah and said, Jonah will not die. <laughs> there are people who hear what they want to hear. So can you see this verse? Matthew 24. Matthew 24. People read it, but they don't understand it. So they write so the generation. So the generation passed. Just like Panotaron's brother Billy Paul. When, when it said that brother Billy Paul, what? Los Angeles. You are standing in Los Angeles. By May Company. In May Company. She's got a brother, Branham. The brother, Branham says, Billy, where are you standing? She's got a brother, Branham, by May Company. She says, I'm, I'm standing at May Company. I was eating there. And he says, you will not, you will not grow old. Until sharks are swimming where you are, where you are standing. Brother Billy Poe, I'm there. Brother Billy Poe is now old. He was born in 1935. So by 2000, so he was 2000. 65. So now he's 87. 87. What kind of old man are you looking for? And the Bible says we're given 70 years. If it happens that you are no by 80. 80, you get to 80 then. You are 87. He's now in 87. Oh, Dara! He's an old man. People are fighting in the message. Los Angeles is such a Los Angeles is still there. There are no sharks swimming at Mexico. Late 70s. 1970s. Quagaita. Earthquake. There was an earthquake. Late 70s. 1973. And a lot of water and floods. Main company at Uvera. Main company drowned in water. Like the floods that happened in case it is. It came in the newspaper. But it's found you come a shark side to swim about the pinnacle door company. Sharks were seen swimming and getting into the doors of main company. Newspaper. In the newspaper. That's in the newspaper. Sharks were seen swimming and getting into the doors of main company. Newspaper. That's in the newspaper. But what I tell you, spoken word. People are looking at the spoken word. If it's not made clear by prophecy, it was not written by the prophet. So now I can put the newspaper. Those who missed that newspaper. What you tell me, sir? They are still looking ahead to things that are not going to come. What I told you. But because the swimming of the sharks, it wasn't talking about the drowning of the sharks. It was another event. You are going to learn more events. But not for us, sir. People should wake up. But people will be sleeping. Because you would have put your own pegs as a brother to say, This is not going to happen. Go, go, this go, is what is going to happen. And yeah. still, it will happen like this. It doesn't happen like that. It's not God. Do you have God in your pocket? Do I have God in my pocket? Are we in the pocket of God? You see, church? We should learn deep things so that we grow. When it's too deep for you, you say, I thank you, God. That it's your word. We'll come back to the surface. Amen. 
God bless you. Marabu pro prophet. Right. Let's go on picha na. Out out of Rajeti. You want to close now? Mu first the seal prophet of Rajeti. Get the first seal the prophet. Not this year. That's right pano. He comes forth. And Zanu where? Now, where are you about 1963? He's talking about 1963. Rajeti legana Joseph. Lead you to Joseph. 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 Akat sani enda ku Egypt. He went to Egypt. And did Amen. Where he was sold by his brothers. Christ was sold by his brothers, the Jews. 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of Joseph, 20 pieces of silver. Joseph was sold for 20 pieces. Of if you follow the stories, they are the same. Kushikira Joseph. And you consider. Ah, right hand to Kwafaro. Ends up on the right hand. At that we're going to We have no time to go through that. Joseph on the right hand of Father. Life and Christ on the right hand of the Father. God does not have a right hand like this. Because God means the power of God. So Christ is the power of God. Joseph on the right hand of Father. Joseph on the right hand of Father. the one in the world that was hungry. Is that Jesus Christ? Christ. That's what we do, my brother. On the right hand. Where we have spiritual food in due season. Giving us spiritual food. That's why we are eating what no men, no other men are eating. And did you? Amen. Saka, we come with Joseph. So Joseph's brothers, Majuta, the Jews. Where can we go? They came from there. Where can we go? Went to Egypt. They go to Egypt. Prime Minister of Egypt. They saw the Prime Minister of Egypt. Joseph. Joseph. They don't know him anymore. Those who have sold Joseph. They were now standing in front of Joseph. The Jews that betrayed Jesus. They are now standing before Christ. Christ being brought to them by Moses and Elijah. Saka Joseph. So Joseph brought them to him. They met. He's that these are my brothers that sold me out. He did a lot of tricks. Then he said, We are in a Benjamin. Bring Benjamin. Can I Benjamin ask Benjamin is not there. Joseph does not reveal that he's Joseph. Who is Benjamin? Yeah, Benjamin. One hundred and four thousand Jews are not in Israel. Christ do not reveal himself to the Jews. Ah, that is the Majuta. So we are supposed to bring Benjamin. Why are Benjamin? Heaven brought Benjamin. They are all there now. They are enough. And it. Chicha waga itwa. You read in the Bible that they were set according to their age groups. Ruben. Ruben. Right. Joseph Hagarapa. Joseph is sitting here. Then he lays them there. Then they were late there. They were not Joseph. But Joseph knew them. But he told the seven that one was set there. That one was set there. Reuben. Reuben was set there. Simeon. Which two? Levi. Levi. Judah. Judah. What is it? And all of them. Benjamin. Up until Benjamin. They all set before him. Now, can I take a mirror upon the table? If I'm standing here, if people are lined, if the last one is there, on which side of mine is it? On the right. On the right. Are you right? And it's good. I'm happy, my brother. So that would be good. The paper should have been taken from my hand. Where it? I want to show you when it happened in this time. Notice. That's why, man. He he comes forth and plays a little trick. And he sends, he says, Is my father still living? See, he wanted to know if the boy's father was still living. Said yes. He knew his he knew that was his brother. Benjamin. But did you notice when he got ready to reveal himself to his brothers? Joseph wants to tell the Jews. His brothers that told him that I am Joseph. Look at what he did. He had a wife and children. But the wife was not a Jew. Esther was not a Jew. 
Egyptian. She was an Egyptian. A Gentile. Jesus Christ was sold by the Jews. Having been sold by the Jews, married the wife. Is it a Jewish wife? We are Gentiles. We are the one represented by Esna, the wife of Joseph. So Joseph and Joseph had a wife and children. Christ is the wife and children and kids. He want to tell the Jews we are brothers by trumpets. I am Jesus that you betrayed. He said his blood be upon us and our children. So Joseph and Joseph Wants to tell his brother, look at what he does. Right. And he found little Benjamin. And Agabaona Benjamin. Benjamin is on the right. Which had been born since he was gone. And that represents these Jews. This 144,000. That's gathering right there now since he's been gone and when he returned he looked at Benjamin and his heart was about to break his brothers are all there Joseph, Benjamin are right Benjamin is on the right 144,000 he's now looking okay. at his brothers and he says his heart broke when he saw Benjamin not when he said Simeon, 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 Simeon or anyone Benjamin 144,000 because he Joseph because he doesn't say I'm Joseph until Benjamin, ben, until Benjamin is there Christ tell them that I'm Christ that's the one for four thousand the one for four thousand are gathered in Israel. Right. Are we together? And remember, they didn't know he could speak Hebrew. So he spoke through an interpreter. Christ Christ is coming to the Jews. He is not coming in person. He is talking to them through an interpreter. Moses and Elijah. You see how scriptures come together. He spoke to them through an interpreter. He acted like an Egyptian. See? And when he was made known, or when he wanted to make himself known, he kept looking at little Benjamin. So his eye was on Benjamin. Right. On the right. And remember, he dismissed his wife. She was in the palace while he made himself known to his brethren. Moses and Elijah, do they come while we are there? We have gone into the palace. We go into the palace. Then Joseph, what you want to see? Some Judah. Joseph comes to show himself to the Jews. When we are not there. What Joseph did in the Bible? He didn't tell his brothers that I am Joseph. He first told Benjamin to sit there. 1946. 1946. Benjamin Agara. Benjamin is sitting. But Esna Tajipo. But Esna is still there. Esna Tajipo. Esna is still there. Esna don't fancy. She don't have Ephraim and Manasseh. Esna is told take Ephraim and Manasseh. Go into the palace. Go into the palace. Go upstairs into the palace. Go upstairs in palace. Munojka. Go and eat. Three and a half years. Three and a half years. But you never know. Pass the pagika. On earth, Joseph was not in that room. Joseph Christ comes to tell the Israelites he's Joseph. He's Christ. Man. Let's take it further. Now, what is happening here? 1963. 1963. Now, what do you mean 1963 was both the seventh seal and the seventh trap? Now look at what happened here. Let's go into the Bible. Revelation chapter 8. Revelation verse 1. 27. See Revelation 8 verse 1 And when he had opened the seventh seal There was silence in heaven About the space of half an hour Finish 
Pakafuru wa chisindu je chino umwe kwa kaba nderu nyararu mdenga Kwenu kwa edukonu sabu ita hafe na umwe How long was this cloud on display in the sky? Yaka i Gwere na kwa wanekwa kwenu kwa yagane basi 28 minutes 28 minutes about the space the bible doesn't say half an hour exactly half half about an hour. as about the space hey, the bible is precise but they are reporting you see that right no, let's follow this you see those trumpets what happened right revelation chapter 10 revelation 10 from verse 1 verse 1 do you 1963 do you revelation 8 verse 1 do you revelation 10 foot verse 1 revelation 8 1 verse 10 1 and i saw another in heaven they silence and i saw another mighty angel come down from heaven close to the cloud who was seen another mighty angel christ is an angel christ was eating gross of the covenant yes, the same pillar of cloud that was in the days of moses so when god has in the chaita kutungongo anugara hari pakati usabu gumbure ngwari rai usabu gumbure my messenger that will always be among you and be careful not to no, not to anger him god in the form of an angel abiding with these people but god and man have now the bible is saying i, I saw another mighty hadi ndakone mwengrozi ni simba Come down from heaven. Heaven they say. Right there, come on. Clothed with a clothed with a cloud. Did you see the cloud? And it Amen. And the rainbow was upon his head. Of course, there's only because it's in the natural eye. You don't see everything with the night. And his face as, was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open. What book is this? It's the book of redemption. It's the book of redemption. It's coming to call names. Of those that are getting into the rapture. Under the seventh seal. Pass page in Bisoji. 1963. 1963. And a little book open. With a little book open. Those seventh seal book. That's the seventh seal book. That is five. Revelation chapter 5. Ratino on area. Raka resealed. Apara full of man. Now it's open. Ari vura atari rana ninyika. He had a little book open in his hand. And he set his right foot upon the sea but I said 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 Revelation 17 let's see what Revelation 17 what do you mean Revelation 17 Revelation 17 It starts by saying And there came out One of the seven angels Which had seven vials And talked with me saying Come up hither and I will show thee The judgment of the great all that uh, Seated upon many waters So this war was sitting upon many waters which is also the sea. At one time to show it, but it's the sea. We want time to show it, but it's the sea. Interpretation is verse 15. Interpretation is on verse 15. Of chapter 17, Revelation says, And he said unto me, The waters or the sea, which thou sowest, where the whole seated, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So the many waters of the seas represent multitudes, peoples, nations, and tongues. Back to Revelation 10. Revelation 10. Then we read it knowing you now. Verse 2. And he had his hand in his hand a little book open. And he set his right foot upon the nations. And Gumborake and his right hand was on the rest of the earth. And his left foot on the earth. What is the earth? Revelation 13. Revelation 13. The earth is America. America. It was uninhabited. 
So it was called the earth. Yeah, it's the earth. And the rest of the world, the sea. Nika yese iri gungwa. No Bible terminology. That's the Bible terminology. Saka kana gumbo reru jiraka tika pasti. If the right hand is on the earth, reru mo jiraka tika America. And the other is on America. Where would a person be? Who know no zoma direction? To those who know east, west, north, south. Ana gata ra north and east. They'll be looking north. And east. The Christu. That's Christ. It's seventh series. That's the seventh. Aka mira, aka tiki kubora keri mo eri pasirese. One. Eri mo eri gata tika America. Aka tiki ra kunot. And he's looking at the north. Kana muni ya aka tiki ra kunot. If he's looking north. Aka cheo ka aka tiki ra kurai. If he looks on his right. Kuna Benjamin. To Benjamin. Where will he be looking? Look at this cloud. Now, there's a cloud. 1963. 1963. Where is the face first? Face here, that's all. He's looking north and he's facing east. I do tell east. Where Benjamin is? Where Benjamin is? Bible right up to the details. Right? The Bible goes into the details. Right to the intricate details. The Bible comes to the tiniest details. Not to shake up my details here. So you see the seventh sea in sixty three. Christ is standing. Christ is standing. His left foot upon the United States. Right foot upon the United States. He looked to the east. Where is Israel? Israel in Kubi. Is it the east? So the east. Is it it? Amen. So Christ is looking at Israel. Who is in Israel? Israel. They are not Israel. Benjamin, the one for four thousand. One hundred forty four thousand. Rakaite wana Joseph kuaronga. Joseph did when he said. Oita kasi tora kira kwa kura. He is a Benjamin. He is a Benjamin. Christ repeats it right here. He is just Jokoro right papa. My, you know chikisa is scared. You know chikisa. He kept looking at Benjamin. And agata agara mbashi tasa Benjamin. Aita Benjamin. So 1963 when Christ came. 1963 Christ to Pagawa. He was bringing us the prophet. Agara mutun zirampor. For a quick work. Kutidite paikwa basare kaska. Of the seventh seal. What he knew. As is this so rake rangara kwa wakuna Benjamin. Was on Benjamin. Because Benjamin anga tunga ni zikwa the sixth trumpet. Benjamin had been gathered by the sixth trumpet. Now look at what he said. We just saw what he said. Verse 3. And he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roared. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. What is a thunder? The voice of God explaining a mystery. 1963. To bring the seven seals. Christ comes. Christ While he's looking at Benjamin, then he brings the seven thunders, seven thunders to the prophet of our age to bring to us that rapture in faith. What were the seven thunders? It was Joseph, Joseph us that, us that, to go into the palace. To go into the palace. Those are the thunders. Those are the thunders. Joseph, I choose the Esther. Joseph telling Esther, get into the palace. That's what he did in '63. No, I don't like '63. Taka told one to be there in danger. To get into heaven. Taka died from a stand up. We called our names. The book was open. From a stand up. And the name died in danger. Get into the palace. Saka tiri pa moment ye over. So we are in a moment of an overlap of times. Ye kuto enda of going. I'm traveling tomorrow to Jobe. To I'm packing my bags. When are you going? To go where I'm going. So if someone is not careful, what will be left to be left behind? What will go? Go. I have got my bag ready. I have got my bag So in 1963, Christ was already looking at Benjamin. He started seven thunders. And then there were seven thunders. Our names are called in the world. To get into heaven, he wants to do with Israel. We're going to party the party. Do you see where we are? We have no time. All right. Verse four. Let's hear what he said. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard from him. A voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. 
John was refused to write. Because I was writing years ago. Things so it was supposed to be until this we locked day. up until this day. It's the seventh seal. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and the lifted up his hand to heaven. This angel is Christ. Is the same angel that was in the burning bush in Exodus chapter 3. Don't throw the much at the burning bush in Exodus 3. Verse 6. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever. Who created the heaven and the things that therein are? And the earth and the things that therein are, I and the sea and the things, the things which are therein. Yes, you say. I pick at it today. What is this word it saying? That there should be no time no longer. Could you apart this in Angola? 1963, Christ is wearing. Christ is wearing. Time is up. Time is up. Right? So 1963, you saw the Kuma Jenta house. No more time. Even Kuma Jews, what is just three and a half? Kuma Jews, what is just three and a half? There is no time. What is the seventh seal? The seventh seal is the End of the seasons. The end of time. The end of the church ages. The end of the trumpets. The end of the vials. The end of the plagues. The end of everything. That's why he saw and said, Time shall be no more. But he did that looking at Benjamin. Jesus that opens one is done with us. So who are we? The eleventh hour people. The eleventh hour, my Gentiles. We are people that are getting into the side. Because the door is closing up. You cannot go marching. It has been opened. 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 It has been Someone wants to be a pope in this time. In this very time, someone is still, uh, uh, still following after women. Someone is still gossiping. Some are getting it by the side. He is saying, wait for me, let me finish my gossiping. There's no time. But because time is no more. We learned in the rural areas. Yeah. You hear the first one, then you start running to school. Then you hear the second one. Then you know when the third one sounds. We never watched. It was in the There was no watch. So you work with the school bell. And the teacher will be waiting with the watch at the school gate. You'll be wearing a safari suit and socks with rubber band. You'll be waiting with a stick. So you run. But someone is running to school. You start picking up fruits. You start picking up You start picking up fruits. The second bell is rang. It's the time, Abachina. There's no more time. He's picking up uh, fruits, wild fruits to eat at school. The gate is going to be closed when he's outside. But it doesn't close only. You'll be beaten. After being beaten, they will close you out. So you learn that you don't come to school late. That's the time. Last moment. It's the last moment. We have no time to wait. Where do you get time to hate someone? Even if I know that someone hates me so much, or if someone sees me and he spits on the floor because he me. Or if someone spends time on WhatsApp, or if someone spends time on WhatsApp, because I want to get into the door. I don't waste time picking up wild fruits when the is Those who are picking up wild fruits, they are not going to school. He's going to spend his time in the bush eating wild fruits. Then he goes down when everyone else is out of school and then he walks back home as if he was in school. 
Then you see the tongue blue. Then you know he was busy eating while he was eating. Go to school. So you are fighting with someone who is not going. There is no time to hate someone. There is time to love those that hate you. There is no time that you, you cannot greet someone. If you see you are doing that, you are busy up a wild fruit so you are not going to school. Get down and rise. Get up. The gate is almost closing. That's the time when you greet someone who hates you. You say, God bless you. If you have money, give them some money so that he can go and bed properly. If he blesses them, that curse you. Do good to them, that person will be done. Don't be like a dog that walks on four legs. You see a dog, then you start doing the same. Doing the same with, with your hands walking on your hands like this. You are a dog. You You are a dog. 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 You are a man that thinks you are not a dog. Amen. So don't be like a dog. You see where we are living. You see where we are living. So Christ so the coming of 1963 Jesus to us was the opening of the seventh seven Here is another problem here. There is another problem here. That the seals or seven thunders. Or the seven thunders. Give us rapture in faith. Where the seals are? If you go to the seals, what is the first seal? White horse, right? That the devil, white horse. Is that The devil, only religious what? Satan, Arab, bizarre, shinaman. Second seal. Satan, we are jamba, Arab, bizarre, red. The devil is Ashura, killing. Third seal. Arab, bizarre, ma. Black horse. I think it's a salvation. My indulgence, the man of Venus, who wrote. Venus, penances. For the seal, ah, pa pale horse. Chechina, ah, politics, demons and religion. Ah, uh, on a pale horse, politics, demons and religion. Saka, no pa rapture in faith. How? So how does it give rapture in rapture in faith? How does that give you rapture? You don't pass say rapture in faith. You only have to go to the When the story is about the devil, let me tell you something. Maruwaru kushandisa. God is using the back part of the story. You see the trumpet. You see the trumpet. Majuta pa yura yana Hitler. When the Jews were being killed by Hitler. Shaina kita. Was it good? But those are why they to end the That's what would send them to their well, to their country. Saga party no one such an arab white horse. We see the devil on a white horse. Totista. We run away. Don't have a red horse. Totista. Red horse. We run away. Red horse. Red horse. Black horse. Totista. Red horse. We run. Totista. Where are we running? Where are we running? Who's your Quran? Where of God? Who no one achi? Rapture in faith. Rapture in faith. You see it? It's like a seventh trumpet. So what man does no way? To Moses and Elijah. To Moses and Elijah. To the Jews. Seventh trumpet. What man does no way? He rapture. He majuta. Rapture to the Jews. Seventh trumpet. What man does no way? He go from my trumpet. He is like majuta. Opening all the other trumpets to the Jews. Seventh trumpet. Seventh trumpet. Christ is coming in sixty-three. Christ is coming in sixty-three. I can't look at Benjamin. Looking at Benjamin. Now to go and appear. Because our time is over. Seven trumpets. Seven trumpets. Till we are sixty still eating the world. We are seeing the sixth still eating the world. The great tribulation. Trip could tap with a kukuru company. Seven trumpets. One man dies no more. Till we are on to the Armageddon. The war of Armageddon. Till we are back there with three and a half years. Coming at the end of the three and a half years. We'll get to it now. But where we come to the atonement, we see the Armageddon in Second Peter. That's why it's explained properly what will happen at Armageddon. You see the seventh trumpet? What about the seventh seal? It's giving us rapture. rapture. So we're going to the rapture. It's opening the seals. Christ is coming to tell us there's no more time. It's time of the rapture. Christ is coming to us to close the Gentiles. It's all the seventh seal. It's giving us moments to get in so that the rapture happens. So the, the part of the rapture is left hidden. 
Don't worry about that. When your name is called, maybe you caught one thing. That we'll call your name. Amen. Amen. How many names do you have? One. So no father will touch in Chagochi. One. Amen. Show that it's a star. One. That has your name in it will get you. No What you don't get. Do not come. Does not come. But it does not refuse. Go up. Amen. Can it be any clearer? So we saw the six trumpets. Second world Second world Seventh trumpet. trumpet. in principle. Is the whole of so we can, we can for those three and a half years, we talk days. about the Feast of Atonement and how it ends into the Third World into War. Into the third world war. Then we take it from Second Peter. Then it will open. Then we go to the back millennium. To the millennium. On the Feast of Tabernacles. Then we close the Feast. Dino Mutenda, oh, Dino Mutenda, oh, Mariwaka, Dino Mutenda, oh, Mariwaka, Naka, Mariwaka, Naka, Kwade, Amazamu, Dino Mutenda, oh, Mariwaka, oh. Hallelujah, oh, Mariwaka, Mariwaka, Kakwade, Iwaka, and the Ponesa, Mariwaka, Iwaka, and the Puta, oh, Mariwaka. Oh, Mariwaka, 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 Mariwa
But we thank God. Amen. We thank God. May God bless you. Amen. You love the Lord? Today, I'm going to talk about the name of the Lord. I'm going to talk about the name of the Lord. Amen.